Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to record electric guitar directly into Studio One. Let's check it out. Now when I use the term direct guitar recording, what I mean is we're going to plug directly into our interface. I'm not going to be using a microphone here in a, in a traditional microphone guitar cabinet sense. We're actually going to take our quarter inch jack from our guitar and plug it directly into one of the instrument inputs here on my interface. Now your interface might be a little bit different but it typically should work the same. Then you should be able to access that, plug it directly into it, and utilize that for direct guitar recording. So the first thing I wanna do now is create a track. Let's come up to Add Tracks, name it whatever you like, and also keep in mind under Type, we're recording an audio track, not an instrument. Just because you're playing an instrument, a guitar, which is an instrument, instrument in the virtual Software sense means a software instrument, like a virtual piano or something like that. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to choose audio. Uh, we'll do mono, and you can choose some presets if you want to play around with these. But right now, I'll keep it pretty simple and choose OK. Now, here's our electric guitar track. Now, if I play my guitar, you'll hear that nothing's going through yet. See? Because we need to set some levels and do a little bit of housekeeping. I'm going to open up my mixer, and here's my electric guitar track. Let's open up our inputs, and here you'll see that I have some signal coming in. There we go. Now you can adjust your incoming signal here with the preamp gain. I'm going to keep it mm, conservatively low, around 10 dBs right there for now. And if you want to hear your signal, you need to record enable this. Okay? And you're going to start getting a little bit of some signal in there. Okay? but it's still a just direct guitar, electric guitar signal. What we're going to do now is I'm going to choose a virtual guitar amplifier. Now, Presonus here under effects comes with a really cool one called Ampire. I'm gonna drag this onto my guitar track, let it go, and there we have our virtual guitar amplifier. Now, keep in mind the signal chain is really simple. It's my guitar plugged directly into my audio interface and it's going to be converted in real time through this virtual amplifier software. And there you have it. Now I'm not gonna to get too much into what this virtual amp software does, but it's really remarkable. Here you've got your input gain and your output gain, but in between all that, you can choose from different kinds of amplifiers, different kind of stomp boxes, which you can disable and activate even utilize some microphone, some coloring microphone here for your uh, tone and the kind of cabinets you want to use. So in this example, let's say I want to do some Drive American and 412 is a little too musical. Let me do something a little more direct like a 112 British. Let's check this out. And there we have it. So we're actually now simulating a guitar head and amplifier, a speaker cabinet, directly here in real time, thanks to the processing speed that we now get through these Thunderbolt interfaces like the Quantum 2 that I'm using. Now to overdub some audio, let me go back to my edit window. And here, remember, you have to keep in mind to activate input monitoring. If this isn't on, then you won't be able to record and hear your electric guitar at the same time. So when you start recording over this to do some overdubs, you're probably gonna want to change the levels here a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these, hold shift down, and I'm gonna bring these down just a little bit, let's say around, around four dBs. And now I'm gonna play back the audio and get a kind of a relative level between what I'm recording to and what in the input level of my guitar. So let's play back some audio. Great, I like that. All right, now let's do some recording. Now I'm going to deactivate my loop markers here. I don't need that on. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. I can activate my metronome if I wanted. And also keep in mind that you can reduce the metronome level here in the master fader. I'm going to bring it down about minus, I'm going to go quite a bit actually, around minus 4 dBs. All right, let's take a listen to this before I start recording. Perfect. 
perfect. Okay, let me rewind my playhead and let's record some tracks. Here we go. I'm gonna choose the asterisk key on my keyboard to start recording. There. Now, if you notice, the signal seems a little bit quiet, but let's take a listen first. That's more important as to what it sounds like, because you can always go back and record that again. Let me disable recording here, and let's play this back from right about where it comes in. Let's see, right about there. Perfect. And there you have it. So we recorded a direct electric guitar signal right into our quantum interface, assigned an amplifier here, in our case, the Ampire Virtual Amp by Presonus. We got some input levels here. We mixed our audio that we're recording to a little bit to get a better playback level for our performance sake. And then we activate recording and make sure that input monitoring is on and you're good to go. It's as easy as that. Direct guitar recording here in Studio One. Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.